You ready? Yeah, what's on the docket for today? Today's April 2nd, day after April Fool's Day. And Adam Eidinger, along with others, uh, have put together a protest to reschedule the uh, category for marijuana, which is now in Schedule 1. Um, it is a Schedule 1 drug and that the, you know, prohibits a lot. Um, you name it, it's pretty much, it's in the same category as heroin, if I'm not mistaken. And what we are doing as a community is, is supporting the idea and rallying together um, multitudes of us uh, from out of state here in the nation's capital, uh, all banding up together to protest and to stand in front of the White House and uh, voice our opinion. And at some point, uh, if, if things are not complied with from the president or the government, then we will proceed to light up on federal property, um, therefore risking ourselves, but yet at the same time making a statement and trying to let the rest of the world that we are ready to take cannabis out of Schedule 1 um, so it could be put in its proper category, which is out of the whole fucking drug schedule to begin with, um, to allow banking, to allow marketing, to allow freedom, to allow growth, to allow research uh, in its full entirety for the plant so that we can develop with this plant as we should without any sort of uh, illegal uh, strings attached. Are you uh, worried about possibly facing any repercussions for your protest here today? 100%. That's why I'm getting slabbed out before the event, pre-gaming it, because this could be the last slab that I'm going to have in a few days if it gets that crazy. Uh, the way I see it, it may not get that crazy. It may be pretty peaceful. We may even get what we want, but um, we should not be uh, in the pink cloud thinking that all is going to be peachy because things could definitely take a turn for the worse. So I'm definitely prepared for that, uh, little by little. But I'm nervous. I'm scared at the same time. But uh, I'm still ready to make a statement. What do you got there in your hands? Um, just uh, a few J's. Uh, some dude named Steven and another dude named Spence helped me uh, put together some real fire, straight fire weed, uh, along with some beautiful hashes and uh, oils and things of that nature for the uh, trip. I gotta say, this is not something I do every day, so I'm a little, a little half giddy, half nervous. I'm wondering what to expect here today. But all in all, we're here. We're doing this. Let's walk up to the joint. We're right here at the nation's capital. Actually, in Wisconsin, we did a, a protest parade as well, but this is something a little bit more in depth because we're we're gonna go hard, we're going straight to the White House, to the core, and we're essentially knocking on the door and asking. Uh, asking for uh, them to listen up. You ready for this? They're not letting us in. It's pretty frustrating. Uh, it's frustrating because we can't, we can't even get through the front door to uh, demonstrate what we came to demonstrate, so. So you think that it is just definitely because it's a giant J? Well, it's a case-by-case -case determination, apparently. <laughs> apparently this time it's because it's an inflatable. Uh, but uh, the pipeline has no problem protesting here. If Philip Morris wanted to put a giant cigarette here, I don't think the same reaction would occur. 
outside the White House? They don't want us, the foreign dignitaries, to ask, wow, you've got more people in prison than any other country on Earth? Is that it? Us lecturing other countries about human rights? Will we put 700,000 people in jail for a plant that God gave us? Please, open up your planets of police officers and let us walk to the White House have our speak out, have our rally, and we'll march out. On the paper, and you're kind of like, whoa, this is heavy. President Obama is in charge of the ex executive branch. He has the power. We're going to do some tokens. 420. Still on schedule for that, guys. All right. I don't know. Maybe we should leave it on. I'm a vet. Um, I believe in this. It saved my life. I, I'm a local roller as well. And I want to make sure everybody has the same opportunity to thrive and to turn their life around as I did. And cannabis was a huge part of this. The reason I'm here is to let you know epileptics are all around you and pharmacy companies make billions of dollars off the medicines that treat our disease and the many symptoms that go with it. To most of you, we are invisible because having epilepsy isn't a secret you share unless absolutely necessary. I don't know if CBD oil could control my seizures, but it will be my very next step if Depakote sprinkles stop working. I qualify for the exception allowed in the state of Virginia because so many drugs have failed me. We're in the middle of an election season, right? Between the two major political parties, both of which are bullsh... Uh, I, I don't, I'm not here for Democrats or Republicans to keep it 100% with you. However, so out of the two major political parties, we have five candidates remaining, right? Only one of those candidates has talked about moving the issue forward on marijuana decriminalization and legalization. I don't got to say his name. Y'all know his name. Y'all know his name. It's for Safe Access Conference here in D.C. Excellent. Yeah, they're great. Him, uh, Mike Fulmer, Taylor Leach, and, uh, and Mike Regan, who's uh, representative. I heard Taylor Leach a couple years earlier at a Philly Norman. Okay. Did you ever think you'd be a part of something like this? Man, I, didn't, I, never, I never thought it was going to happen, man. Not in my lifetime. I thought it was never going to happen, man. The drug war has got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. The drug war has got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. The drug war has got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. The drug war has got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. The drug war has got to go. Did you ever think you'd be standing in front of the White House fighting for illegal marijuana? I can't say that I ever did, no, but I'm really glad to get the chance to do so. This law is a Nazi law. It is based on a big lie. The big lie is that marijuana is bad for you. Actually, marijuana is the safest therapeutically active substance known to man. <laughs> It should be available here. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. 
Cannabis is in the Bible. It's in Exodus 30, 23, in the holy anointing oil in Hebrew, ancient Hebrew, as cannibal sem. Mistranslated as calamus, sweet flag, all other things. But we don't need their prayers. Well, I'm not going to say that they're whack jobs, but there's a... There's a strain of thought which thinks that the body is the temple, like a Puritanism, and any drugs means that you're going to go to hell. I think that's not my interpretation. That doctor, that lawyer, that police officer has all tried marijuana and they are here functionally, functioning just fine in society. One minute, that's it. That's all we got. And you know what? I'll leave off of saying this. Uh, Turp it up, everybody. It's time to get fucking high and slam it up. 420, baby. Sorry about the curses, but I'm passionate. Damn it. Thank you, everybody who's here today. Be safe uh, and uh, protest responsibly. 1937, only 79 years ago, the first mission because it makes us forget history and the hundreds of thousands of years that God allowed the plant to grow freely. What is that date? That's my son's birthday. Okay, no, seriously, it is my son's birthday, but it's the day that Initiative 71 got launched. We have smoked legally six plants in your home allowed to cultivate. We're allowed to have two ounces in the streets. Thank you to Adam Eidinger and Initiative 71. That was February 26 of 2015. They want it reclassified. The biggest regret they ever have in their life is what happened to the black community with the drug situation. I won't go into details. But as a Republican, I will say that smoking pot is a right. We are a free nation, a free people, and to lock people up to do something that's organic is fucking stupid. Um, when I got out of the Marine Corps on a medical discharge, the VA proceeded to put me on a multitude of prescriptions. I was on over 40 medications over a period of five years including methadone, Xanax, Clonopin, Valium, you know, Effexor, you name the drug, I was on the drug. And cannabis got me off of every single one of those pills. I think the police are going to let everybody be peaceful and that it's going to be a peaceful protest. And, you know, legalization has been going on for too long and I think the nation's finally realized that it's pointless. Too many people have been incarcerated, we're losing lives, and the longer that we hold up the legalization, it, it slows down the process of medical research and being able to help people that have real ailments. Those of you in the
Yeah, that's what we yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah, Go yeah. homie, describe it. That's what we yeah. doing out here. Uh, this is 71. Yeah! 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 We pulling it off. Yeah! 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 And who said we can't bring a doobie on the White House grounds? Yeah! Who said we can't bring a doobie yeah! on the White House grounds? We did it anyway. Turn it right. up! Fight for your freedom, keep fighting! Okay, so on behalf too. of DCMJ, who called this protest, I want to uh, thank all the groups who came from all over the country. Turn it up. Okay, right now, and especially the DMV oh, folks. DC. Troops. If you have a pen, you might want to take it down and write this number down on your body. I may have a pen. You might want to turn it up. I think you up. probably know why I'm asking yeah. you. To Oh, Evidence that uh, Obama's been rosin pressing at the White House. We just saw this on the floor. We're completely getting away with smoking. Here, <laughs> here we are. It's really great. Can you believe you're smoking Woo! from the White House? Man, this ain't nothing new. We do shit like uh, Fuck it, man. I do shit like this every day. Any city I go to, I fucking like. We gotta we got push what we can do because, because drinking isn't normal. Drinking isn't normal. Smoking weed and ingesting cannabis, that's where we should be in this country. So, we gotta make shit normal. That's a local Baltimore glass blower. pretty flagrant with my uh, marijuana use out in front of the White House and they because I was kind of being obvious they pulled me aside I thought I was going to get arrested actually because they said leader to the car so I was a little worried but they only issued me a $25 ticket so and then they said I could either go to court and contest it which I'm not going to do that because I was clearly doing it but um, I'm just gonna pay the $25 fine so it doesn't bother you that you got fined no, it doesn't. Um, it was something that I fully expected when I came here today. So, definitely is, a possibility. Is this the first time you've ever had an altercation with a police officer concerning marijuana? Um, no, I have actually never had an altercation with a police officer concerning marijuana. Um, I've lived in Colorado and Washington State before, so this is actually my first experience. Tell me, how do you feel about today? Man, I'm white, man. It was uh, better and bigger than what I expected. And uh, the turnout was amazing. People came in 
highly supportive, pun intended, and uh, the feds didn't step in. I mean, they, they gave us initial problems about coming, in, you know, to demonstrate in front of the White House, but eventually we got past and uh, it went well and we lit it up. I was slamming out on federal property. I was dabbing and uh, smoking marijuana on cannabis, smoking cannabis on, on federal property in front of the White House. How much better can you get than that, you know? I guess smoking a joint with Obama would be next, but yeah. He's got to come on the slab hour. Yeah, that would be awesome. Maybe after he gets out, he'll come on, you know, he won't be so uh, high profile. You'd slab out Obama? Oh, definitely. I'd make sure that he get the best. I would be his tester, too, to make sure that, you know, that the, the slabs were okay for him. Take the slab first, then give him the slab. To, it's okay, you know? I'll provide the slab, be the slab tester, and yeah, definitely, 100%. Obama and I, if he wants to.